Welcome to Storm Bowling Products. I'm Steve Klemkin, Storm's Technical Director, and today we're going to talk layouts. Now what exactly is a layout? Well, a layout is a position or orientation of a weight block relative to your bowling release. That's the important part, relative to your release. Now everybody has a different PAP or positive access point. If you don't know what your PAP is, make sure you visit your local Storm VIP Pro Shop and they'd be happy to measure it and give you that information. It's critical in terms of understanding your arsenal and the different balls and the different layouts that you have. Once you know your PAP, or positive axis point, then you need to know the distance of these three points. One is going to be the measurement from the pin to the PAP. Two is going to be the measurement from the mass bias, or the PSA, to the PAP. And then third is going to be the measurement from the pin to the VAL, or the vertical axis line. These three numbers, which in this particular ball is the four by four by two layout, these three numbers are gonna give you the general layout information, and this type of information is necessary in order to determine what type of a motion you're gonna get out of this particular ball. Now, make sure you understand that the layout is only relative to the particular ball in which you put that layout in. Based off of the different weight blocks, you're gonna get different radius of gyration numbers and different differential numbers. And all of this information helps build the type of ball motion you're going to get for each particular ball. So just because you have a layout of 4x4x2, four by four by know that the motion you get is still going to be relative to that particular ball. The first number, which is the pin to PAP distance, is going to control the amount of flare that you get from this particular ball. A 4-inch pin to PAP is a pretty aggressive or strong layout. It's going to produce a lot of flare, and in general, is going to produce quite a bit of hook. The second number, which is going to be your PSA to PAP number, is going to control the direction of the migration path. Whether or not that flare path is going to go up towards your fingers, more straight across towards your grip center, or down towards your thumb, that migration path is going to be controlled by this position right here. And then lastly, our third number, which is going to be the pin to the valve, this is known as our pin buffer. And this pin buffer controls how sharp the transition is at the break point. The closer you put the pin to the VAL, the shorter or faster that transition is going to be. As we increase that distance and make that distance wider, which would happen if the pin was, for example, below your fingers, you would get a much slower transition. It would be a more gradual arcing shape. So one of the most popular layouts for your average league player is going to be the 4x4x2 four by four by layout like seen here. But if you were to look at the PBA Tour, you would notice a layout like such, the 5x5.5x3, five by five by as being one of the most popular layouts on tour. Now remember, on the PBA Tours this past season, Storm and Rotor Grip won a total of 18 times. That's huge. So make sure that you understand your style and understand the lane conditions you're bowling on in order to determine what type of a layout is going to be best for you. But just remember, no matter where you go with it, understanding your game and your layouts is critical to your success. 